PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that, man. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. Talking more one versus Geechee Gotti. Sidebar right quick. Pass and twerk was supposed to be on day one card, but it's going to be on a day two card tomorrow. I just want to make sure I throw that out there, right? So we got Geechee Gotti versus Marv One, right? Um, you got Mook in the building. This is um, Marv One, definitely a, a it's, it's crazy though, right? Because a lot of people, a lot of because these texts I get from these battle rappers about you, you know what? I'm, I'm not putting a lot of battle rap. They don't, Yo, let me tell y'all something. These battle rappers, let me tell y'all fans. Let me tell y'all. Sound all right quick. Walk with me right quick. A lot of these battle rappers, they want the things they tell us media dudes behind the scenes or who they think won lost a battle. And they don't keep that. Yo, they try to say the blog is in media compromise. Uh -uh, let me tell you niggas who are compromised. Battle rappers are the most compromised people in this culture. It ain't the fans, it ain't the media. I'm gonna say it again. It ain't the fans, it ain't the media. Yo, certain battle rap Oh boy, we'll talk about that some other day when battle rappers all done in every day. But let's go ahead. Um, Gucci Gotti versus Marv One. Um, this battle was okay, right? And at this point in Gucci Gotti's career, because even he said something in one of these rounds about him beating the game, right? A lot of people say Averb beat the game. Right, he's done a lot for that. Who's left for him to battle? So he's done a lot for the game. And you know, Geechee Gotti for the most part, his run from three time champion to, to hope putting the West Coast on his back. Let's be clear on that, right? Because if you want to go into who gave street representation, if you want to go in that bag, um, who was in you know, terms of on the West Coast and everything, it was Geechee Gotti. Sorry, disaster, sorry, disaster, sorry, daylight pass. And a couple y'all, a couple y'all, I love B Dot and all that. Shout out Danny Myers. But Gucci Gotti, I mean, dog, this man is a three-time champion of the year. Now let's fast forward right quick. With that being said, Gotti, for the most part, some people will say, does he still have that hunger? Does he feel because he beat the game when he said it in one of the rounds that he doesn't have to go super hard. Sometimes his freestyles are, are hit better than his written. Sometimes people say, Gotti, that's what people say about you, brother, respectfully. Shout out to Gichi Gotti also, and Illuminati, Illuminati, and Marv One. Both these brothers have dope um, projects. Go check that out, Gichi Gotti. Please do a video for Neil Long. Now let's get back to these raps. Gichi, let's talk. My brother, Gichi, for all that you've done for the culture of battle rap, my dude, in the first round, it's particularly, when you go through the motions and you like sitting like, all right, Geech, what we doing here, right? Because some people feel you can win battles. See, Ge and Geechee and Clips got something similar in, in comparison where they can go, if you want to go 65%, 70%, and they still make a battle debatable. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a person arguing me on Twitter right now about the first round between Gotti and Marv One. Right now, we was going back and forth, right? But let's get into this, man. Um, Gucci Gotti, single out, single outdated line was cool. The Teddy Graham looking mother effer. Um, bullets got no names. How come I got one in the chamber? Um, and then sometimes Gucci go through the freestyling and back to the clips thing. Some people feel they don't want to hear clips do freestyle sometimes. Sometimes with Gotti, the freestyle is the hit. Sometimes they don't want to hear that, right? So it's like a. And then sometimes with Gotti, is the rebuttals. Land two, then more times than the Rens. His the strong ones. Sometimes it be his rebuttals. As of late, I feel a lot of people feel that way, right? Um, he got that Quest McCody. How name Quest is no search. I did like that line. No Quest McCody had no, no search. The Poncho line was was solid. Um, Gigi at times when he's rapping, he tends to bring the bars back more because I'm paying attention when he's rapping. He either he's bringing the bars back or. I don't know if it's he says a line and expects it to hit or land, and then he's waiting for the, the approval, and he goes, yeah, yeah. And he goes goes into that bag and stuff. I'm, I've been noticing that, especially especially tonight. I noticed that a couple times through this through this um round here. But Gucci got Gucci's first round was was I. It was I. It was I. I thought it was beatable. I thought it was beatable. And Marv one 
I Am The Streets, I Paved The Way Talk, The Cut Corners Line was dope, uh, Gun Talk for Marv. Marv Lines was hitting to me in his first round, son, they were. You know what I mean? Um, the Trophy Room, Lying My Marv, that was dope also. I, true, true story, I got Marv 1-0. I got Marv with a 1-0 going into the second round. You know what I mean? Now, Gigi's second round, he had a rebuttal that was dope. You know what I mean? Um, the drug talk about God he was hitting. The crip handicap line was hard. Um, all the people he bullied and everything. Um, then he said, Trevor, you know, you, you, excuse me. He said, you never battle Mook, Rex, Oz, Hollow. How you a legend and no legendary battles. Like, when he went into the legendary talk, you know, when he went into the legendary talk, I'm talking about Geechee Gotti. That angle that Geechee did in the second round, they were hitting, son. I'm not going to hold you. They were hitting. They really were hitting. I can't front. You know what I mean? This Geechee's best round for him, in my opinion, was the second round. By far was his best round was the second round. Right? Um, but how you a legend, no legendary battles. How to battle me to be the main You had to battle me to be the main event conversation. That was dope. Um, like I said, the what is legendary about you angle by Geechee was hitting, man. You know, only time you hear Marv one is when they call you on the stage. How quest you share everything conversation. You know what I mean? Um, Marv, the bitch, and then Quest had the baby. That was, you know what I mean? Uh, Geechee got his second round. was and it, that's, that's the thing. When you hear Geechee second round, I'm like, fam, where was that at in the first round? My dude, you're a legendary battle rapper. Where was that in the first day? Get you, you can't get mad at bargains or fans who hold you that to, to that high standard, sir. You can't get mad at bargains. Get you, we hold you to a higher standard, sir. Your name is Geechee Gotti. Forget the whole line of West Coast, battle rap period, hip hop period. Niggas rock with you all over the place, my guy. East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. Niggas fuck with Geechee. Every time I go, I keep telling I go to the barber shop on Sundays, and when I'm in that mother effort, these barbers, I, you hear them talk about battle, and they all watch battle rap, and it's like when they talk about geeky, oh, and then sometimes they're like, "Why geeky on some bullshit?" Right? But Marvel, one, I gotta be honest, I thought Marvel's second round was his lightest round. I didn't Marvel's lightest round, second round was light, in my opinion. The shooting, uh, I won't lie to that mass shooting line that he had though, the mass shooting ball that was fire. That was my favorite line for Marv. And that, that mass shooting line that Marv had, I'm not going to lie, the second round was fire. So before I say, I just saw after that line, it kind of dwindled down a little bit. But that line right there was fire. But after that, it was a slippage to me in the second round by Marv. The avocado ruin your day line, avocado ruin your day. It's like, okay, you know, you know. And then, so I have the 1-1 one, one going to the third round. I got it 1-1 one, one going to the third. I can't, you know what I mean? There's somebody arguing me right now. Geechee got to get the first round. So I, I, I'm going to let y'all know right now. And then Gotti's third round, um, I wanted to see, all right, Gotti, are you going to keep that same pace? Are you going to bring to the second round what you did to the third round? Because I remember when Geechee battled how long it done. I think it was the second round also. When after people didn't like his first round and then people were cheering the second round, he's like, oh, now y'all like me now? Go back to Geechee's second round against Hollow when he's sitting there saying, yo, oh, y'all feeling me now? Yeah, we feeling because you're rapping, my boy. You're, you're, you're spitting. We rocking with the bars. And it's only the second round here. We rocking with the bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we rock with the materials and the stuff you're saying. Day and night, you know? But uh, you just turn around. The homies pain talk from Gotti. You know, he gives you that homies talk and everything like that. Trying to forget my bars while remembering them, you know? The entertaining y'all with my, with, with my reality raps and stuff. I'm entertaining y'all with my reality that I got shit that I go through. I like all that from Geechee and stuff like that, but I wanted to see what Marv was doing that third round. And then Marv, third round, the Adonis has him, this 40 will, will, will always have a place in his organization. That was crazy. I thought I was fire. The Hitless Hermes, West Side Gun Line by Marv was crazy. The Drug Dealer, I want to lose a pound. That Drug Dealer Lose Pound Line by Marv 1 was magnifique. Money feet. Respectfully, I don't think Geechee had a better line than there when Marv has them two lines right there. So, as I'm like, yo, Marv got this 2-1. I got to be honest, as Marv just keeps rapping, I'm like, okay, Marv got 2-1. And he was still rapping, in my opinion, man. Marv Bricks, the ARP line was fire. You ain't cripping, right? Because I ain't started it. That was, I got Marv 1-2-1. One, one. Yes, I got Marv getting the first round, Geechee in the second round, clearly. Geechee had the second round, clearly. And Marv getting the third one, clearly, in my opinion. 2-1.
and I see a poll, 58% of people got, um, 58% of people got more winning the battle. You know what I mean? So yeah, Marv first and third. Marv first and third. You gotta get Marv, and let's be honest, Marv won last year, had a dope year last year. I mean, in terms of, wait, 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 what he did last year for the calendar year of 2023. So this beating Gichi Gotti, you, you gotta, you gotta, I'm sorry, you gotta give it up to Marv, absolutely. We gotta give it to Marv. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Marv has some joints in that third round, though, son. I'm not gonna hold y'all. He has some balls in that third, man. So, it's your boy three, man. One.